Happy Wednesday, everybody. Today we are going to be working on some math. We're going to do some math fact triangles. Um, all you need for this is some paper, any kind of paper, and you want to cut it into triangles. And then you need cards with numbers on them. So if you have a, a deck of playing cards, that's great. I just cut my own cards and wrote numbers one through nine on them. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select two cards. So I have a five and I have an eight. So this is what I need to do. Somewhere in one of the corners, I'm going to put my five. And on another corner, I'm going to put my eight. Okay, now I have an empty corner that I need to figure out the answer to. So this is what I will do. I will do two addition problems. So five plus eight equals, and I'm only using these two numbers. Now, the nice thing with addition problems that we've talked about before is it doesn't matter if the five comes first or the eight comes first, the answer is always going to be the same. And the answer is what's gonna be down here. It's gonna go in that circle, I'm missing it. So I have my five plus eight, but I can also do eight plus five. Now, this is where I suggest if you have any kind of manipulative beads, Cheerios, whatever you have, you can use them. You can even use your fingers to count. So we always like to put our bigger number in our head. So eight goes in our head and then I have to add five more. So eight's in my head, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. My answer for both of these is 13, which means the answer missing from my corner over here is 13. Okay, so let's do one more of these. I'm picking two new cards. I've got a nine and I've got a four. So let's see if I remember what to do. I'm gonna put my nine somewhere. I'm gonna put my four somewhere and I'm missing a number over here, okay? So I can make nine plus four and I can make four plus nine. I'm gonna put the bigger number in my head. Nine goes in my head and I need to add four more. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 is my answer. And 13 is the number that needs to go in this corner. All right, now, if you really want to get tricky, like super duper tricky, we can do a little bit of subtraction. I know we've only just started subtraction in school. Okay, so my one's not very dark. Let's see, one. But I can show you this. You don't have to do this. It's quite tricky. Oh, a one and a two. How lucky is that? Okay, so I'm going to put my one up here my two over here, and I'm gonna figure out what I'm missing. One plus two, well, we're all pretty good, so we can figure out what number is missing is our three. So my three goes in the corner. Now, if we wanna get tricky, we can do subtraction with this. We talked about in subtraction, the biggest number always has to be the first number in our problem, okay? Our biggest number is three. So three, now I'm gonna do a subtraction sign. Three minus, well, I can pick any one of these two numbers. I can do three minus two, and guess what? That's gonna equal one. Or I can do three minus, I can go the other way around my triangle, three minus one, and that's gonna equal two. Our math fact triangle, boys and girls, all three numbers are used. Let's do just one more, and then I am gonna pass it over to you. So I've got a three, and I've got a six. So I'm gonna put my three up here, my six over here, and it doesn't matter where you put the numbers in the corners. So let's do my addition first. I can do three plus six, and six plus three, all right, now I'm gonna put six in my head. You can probably do this in your head without counting. But six goes in my head, I need to add three more. Six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is my answer. 
Now, if I want to do subtraction, can you remember which number has to come first? Always my biggest number. Number nine is going to come first. Nine minus, well, what if I did three? Nine minus three, guess what? The answer is going to be six. Now I can go nine minus, and the other way I can go nine minus six, and the answer is going to be three. That's it, that's all you have to do with math fact triangles. Um, I love doing this every spring with my students. We have a lot of fun. You can challenge yourselves and use double digit numbers. You can use dominoes, um, like I said, playing cards. But I wanna see if you can do a few of these. And if you can, please send me a picture. Now you don't have to do subtraction. You can just focus on addition. But if you're finding addition is very easy, you can definitely do some subtraction.